Hi everybody, I'm Patrick and welcome back to Rocky Mountain Style. If this is your first time here, I appreciate you taking the time to click on the video. So today we are going to talk about something called Smart Casual Style. Now this is probably something you guys have heard bandied around here and there, uh, but what does it really mean? How do you dress Smart Casual? What sort of things should you look at? What's the philosophy behind it? Uh, those are some of the things I want to explore today. Uh, and I was also uh, lucky enough to get a few outfits from Huckberry. I got three separate outfits, um, you know, tops, pants, shoes, to uh, kind of like in a challenge style, say, hey, here's a bunch of items, put these together, make the best outfit you can that fit the smart casual mold. Uh, so thanks to Huckberry for doing that. We're going to talk about those pieces as well. We're going to show off each outfit. We're going to talk about the design behind them, the reasoning for picking certain types of things uh, and all that. So it should be a pretty fun video. Uh, this is a little outside my comfort zone. Normally I'm doing, you know, unboxings, product reviews, things like that. But uh, I think it's fun to chat about the choices we make uh, when we're putting clothes on in the morning. Because a lot of times you can tell when someone just goes into the closet, picks things out, and didn't give two thoughts to it, right? Uh, giving, you know, at least one, two minutes. I mean, that's all it takes of deliberate thought each morning, though, about what you're putting on, how things go together. Uh, you can really elevate your style and feel better about yourself because at the end of the day, ultimately, for me, and I know a lot of people, uh, how we dress, how we portray ourselves to those around us is sort of a, I don't know how to say, it's a, it's a showing of how we feel inside. It's a showing of how we want people to perceive us. We show respect by our dress. I know that was one of those famous Tom Ford quotes. Um, you know, it's a, it's a form of good manners, I think is what he said, uh, to, to dress well. So putting some time and thought into that's never a bad thing. So uh, smart casual, what is it? Uh, it's always kind of fuzzy, right? Style is. It's kind of just however you feel about style. But the coolest definition I found looking around the internet, uh, you know, has to do with how smart casual fits on the spectrum. So, uh, you know, up, up high on the spectrum of fashion, not fashion, style, you've got, um, you know, things like black tie, you've got formal, business formal, you know, which is, you know, suit and tie, uh, you know, Oxford shoes, things like that business casual, right? And that's going down and going up from the bottom. You've got, you know, a lot of people would say casuals on the bottom, but you know, you can look nice dressed casually, but you know, I, I like to say there's like, you know, the slob look on the bottom, you know, you put on some basketball shorts and uh, you know, old ratty sneakers that you cut the grass in and go out. Uh, you know, that's kind of the slob style. Um, you know, sometimes we need to do that and that's fine. Uh, above that, you've got casual above that you've got smart casual. So I think about it this way. So, so what's the difference between business casual and smart casual? Because those are the two things uh, most folks nowadays will dress in in, in professional uh, and social situations. So business casual is really a, a deformalizing of business formal, while smart casual is a formalizing of casual. So you start out here and here and you come closer together and you meet somewhere in the middle. So uh, with business casual, you're going to have a lot of nicer slacks, dress shoes, things like that. Uh, you can do blazers, uh, you know, more button down shirts, but with smart casual, like what I'm wearing today, uh, you start with something that might've just been, you know, jeans, tennis shoes, and a t-shirt, right? But swap out the tennis shoes for some boots or other leather type of footwear, throw on a blazer, and then boom, all of a sudden you've got a significantly more elevated look, but you're still technically wearing a t-shirt and jeans, right? Smart casual. Uh, that's how I view it. I think that's cool. So this is getting a little long for an intro, so uh, let's do a break here, and then we'll hop into the outfits and chat about those. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, a few words about Huckberry first. They are quickly becoming the go-to place for Smart Casual. As you can see here, they put together what they're calling the Smart Casual Style Guide. They have a curated list of different types of things you need to pull off this kind of a look, this kind of a style, all the way down to things like watches and work bags. You can see here, we'll just drill down through a couple of these and show some off. Blazers, especially these casual blazers, can sometimes be hard to find. So they have all sorts of stuff sitting there ready to find. Uh, footwear from boots to loafers to certain kinds of minimalist sneakers that work well with the style. Um, you know, a pair of running shoes was thrown in there for some reason. Uh, here's shirts. I mean, Pretty much anything you could think of, they've got. It's really cool to have a website like that that's gone to the trouble to put all these things together. They also have articles. I know a lot of people don't know that. I've read a couple of these over the years. Uh, here's one about choosing the right blazer. You know, good info, good pictures. 
and just all sorts of other stuff. So really Huckberry, you know, place I've come to trust when it uh, comes to this kind of stuff. All right, on to the first outfit. I'm gonna call this the go-to, and that's because this outfit is the kind of outfit that goes well in an office setting if you are allowed to dress this casually or in really in any social situation, you know, going out for uh, a happy hour, going out for a dinner, going out on a Saturday to, you know, walk around a park, you know, whatever it happens to be, this outfit works for all that kind of stuff. Uh, we start here with the Clinton Tinder Donegal Architect shirt. So of course the one I have is not this color. They quit offering that color, which is unfortunate. It's really cool. It's a sort of a khaki color with rainbow nip. So it's really neat when you get up close. But uh, yeah, this is a cool shirt. It's a mid-weight shirt, so probably not the best for super hot days, but uh, it does the job and I think it is pretty versatile. But of course, with this style, you know, pick any sort of button-down shirt you want. Then next, of course, you need a pair of denim. Now, any color of denim can technically work with this sort of style, but dark works the best. Dark denim generally looks a little more dressy, a little more put together, and you definitely want to stay away from anything with rips or really heavy distressing because that just kind of ruins the, the smart part of the look that makes you go back down the spectrum towards casual. But these here uh, are new. I didn't know about these until uh, I started talking with Huck Berry about doing this video. Made in America, stretch denim, uh, extremely comfortable. Uh, they're mid-weight, um, probably 12 ounces, something like that. So they're not light, but fantastic jeans. So if you're looking for something like this made in America, that's got a little stretch to it and you don't want to break in another pair of, uh, you know, raw selvage, then uh, these might be a good option for you. And then next we have, of course, the Astroflex Brown Flex chuck -a boot So Astroflex, Italian company, all this stuff is made in Italy. Lots of generations of artisans, uh, you know, in their family that have done these boots and shoes over the years. This leather specifically, uh, I also have this leather in one of their loafers, this dark chestnut nubuck, is an amazing leather. It just looks so cool and takes on a lot of character really quickly. So a chuck -a boot is a very casual boot and it's going to work for any of these smart casual looks and it just pairs well with almost anything. So really a great thing to get into. All right, and the outfit itself. Like I was saying, this is just a clean, easy, casual look. It's comfortable. You're generally speaking, not going to be overdressed. You're generally speaking, not gonna be underdressed. So it's just nice and versatile. Also, if you're going to work, throwing a bag on like this is a great look. This is a bag I've had a while and I love. A little pricey, but still a nice bag. Okay, on to outfit number two. I call this the not quite dressy because it has all the elements of being dressed up but still maintains its more casual nature by uh, a few key tricks, which we'll talk about. So the first thing is the Taylor Stitch Jack shirt. So some of these have different names, but this one is the Jack Everyday Oxford. So you, you'll hear these called Cotton Oxfords, uh, Cotton Oxford Button Down, uh, Oxford Button Down shirts, all sorts of names to describe these. But the idea is they don't have the same really smooth sheen sort of poplin fabric that you get from a dress shirt. Uh, they, they maintain a little bit of wrinkliness because they're 100% cotton and they make your outfit look casual while still looking elevated given that it's buttoned down. Uh, so Taylor Stitch makes a great one. I have several of these both in long sleeve and short sleeve. I've had some of them for a couple of years and they just go really well in, in most situations. The Wills Garment Dyed Blazer uh, have this in charcoal. This one's pretty cool. Uh, unstructured casual blazers are a big staple of this look, I think. Uh, you can throw them on over a long sleeve shirt. You can throw them on over a t-shirt. You can do a whole lot of stuff with them. You can take them off uh, if you no longer need to have that upscale look. And then boom, you're just, you know, in whatever shirt you were in. So uh, this one's a cool one. I like this one a lot. It's uh, really, really casual. Uh, almost almost has a canvasy kind of feel. Then the pants, we have the awesome 365 pant from Flint and Tinder. So these are a five pocket design. So they don't look like a normal pair of chinos, even though they do have that type of feel uh, and look up close, but they're closer to a jean because of the five pocket design. So again, very casual, but slightly less casual than a blue jean. So there's a lot of different fits. These are the athletic taper. The first time I've tried these, uh, this is not my favorite fit. I prefer the uh, slim fit and then just sizing up a little bit. I find this has way too much room in the hips uh, and just sort of makes, makes at least for my body type, makes me look a little big. But I did want to try the athletic taper fit. Um, and so if you're the kind of guy who wants a little extra room, then these ones would be good for you. 
All right. And then lastly, this outfit has the Astroflex again, Astroflex showing up, Patinoflex travel loafer. I've had this loafer for four or five months and have been wearing it around quite a bit. Uh, wore it a lot on my Vegas trip, um, you know, sockless because it was so hot there. But this is just a killer loafer. So this is also, you know, wearing something sockless like this is a way to make something look a lot less formal. So even though we have a blazer, button down shirt, you know, pants, you know, chino style pants and leather, you know, quote, dress shoes, this is still an extremely casual look because of some of the elements that are going on. So you can see here in this photo from Instagram, they all go together fairly well, I believe. The green may be a little bit out there. Uh, and it is a little difficult to combine multiple colors. So I think this is just pushing too many colors, but I think it worked out well. All right, for this outfit, we're going to start with the look here, uh, the full look, and then we're going to deconstruct it a little bit. So you can see here, this is something you could easily wear in any office setting. It looks kind of dressy, given the blazer, the buttoned in, uh, they're the tucked in button down shirt. Uh, but look, no socks on the loafers. So if you're the kind of guy who wants to try to get away with that, I think you can here. And overall, it makes things much, much more casual. So if we want to pop off that blazer and untuck the shirt, all of a sudden we've gone down a little bit in terms of formality. We're now getting more and more casual. This is a great kind of thing, uh, you know, after the workday is over, you want to go out with some of your coworkers and hang out a bit, go out on a date, whatever, you do that. And then take the button down off boom, you've got this gray. That was my undershirt, the gray V-neck that's on there. So, you know, after you're done with whatever you're doing, you can just keep going down the scale in terms of uh, casualness. All right, the third and final outfit, I call this the sneaker look, because if you do things right, you can actually wear sneakers instead of boots or dress shoes with a smart casual style without really losing the upscale look. So we start here with a polo. This was the Slub Polo from 45. 45 is one of Huckberry's in-house brands. They make really soft t-shirts, which I have a little bit of experience with. This is my first polo. Uh, again, no difference here. Extremely soft, extremely comfortable. Uh, several different colors. I got almond because I wanted to pair it with these flyweight flex chinos. So this is from Relwin, a company out of uh, Ohio, I believe, who makes kind of, they're almost um, upscale outdoorsy kind of thing. So these pants uh, look like chinos, act like chinos but they're a little more rugged, uh, which sort of is an interesting dichotomy with, uh, you know, a business casual or smart casual kind of a setting. So wanted to try those out and see how those work. Uh, to go with those, we're going to pair them with the Terra Low sneaker from Luca. Now I did a standalone video on this, of course, a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago. These are bar none, the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn, uh, which is crazy, right? And it's all because of that rubber sole, um, that really special soft rubber sole. And again, as I mentioned in that video, there's a trade-off, soft rubber sole, probably not going to last as long, but the color's cool. The silhouette is cool. Um, you know, very casual, but it doesn't scream, oh, I'm going on a jog later, or I just didn't think about what I'm putting on my feet. So I think it works in a smart, casual setting. And then put together, here's the look here. So this is the kind of thing that uh, a lot of office settings, you could probably get away wearing this into the office on a Friday. Um, you can go run your errands in this, you know, go on a, a date night with the missus or the mister with this, uh, pretty much anything. And then again, a bag. Bags are cool. Um, if you don't have a messenger commuter style bag like this, you should really get one. And keeping with the sneaker theme, uh, plain white sneakers are a really popular item. So I wanted to show you this same pants, white shirt, sneaker, throw on a blazer and you go from just being straight casual to smart casual. Um, and this color combo is a classic gray, navy and white. Then also, uh, you want to get rid of those chinos, throw on some blue jeans, put on some dark brown boots, tuck the shirt in, and all of a sudden you can go into the office in this. You know, a lot of offices, you know, as long as they don't have a really strict dress code, you can get away with something like that. And then here it is just from uh, one of my Instagram posts. See a little bit of the distressing in the jeans starting to go in there, the fades coming in. Really cool outfit. Big fan of this one. I'm going to be wearing this one a lot this fall. And then keeping with the idea of blazers, this is a Relwin flyweight flex blazer. Uh, and yeah, in closing guys, smart casual is something you can really do and you don't have to think too much about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but yeah, it's just a cool style that really lets you be as versatile as you need to be in pretty much any situation. So thanks again. Have a great day.